everyone, it's Jess again. Are you ready for Children's Church today? I hope so, because that's what's happening now. I've had quite an exciting day so far because my new t-shirt arrived, especially for Children's Church. But anyway, let's start with having a look at what you all made last week. We made two houses, one built on the rock and one built on the sand. And then we tried to blow them over, pretending to be a storm. Do you remember which one stayed standing and strong? The house built on the rock or sand? Shout out the answer. It was the house built on the rock. So let's have a look at yours at home. Those were great! Well done everyone! In our Bible story today, we're looking at when Jesus called another person to be one of his best friends and to follow him. But I won't say too much now, let's have a look and see what happened. Stories of the Bible Jesus Calls Matthew This is Jesus hey -o who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. Wahoo! Jesus was in Capernaum and he was walking along when he saw a tax collector named Matthew sitting at his tax collector's booth. Tax collectors were hated by everyone because many people thought they were cheaters and sinners. Oh, no lie to you. Let's get out of here. But Jesus saw this man and said, follow me and be my disciple. Me? Yeah, you. So Matthew got up, left everything and followed him. Later, Matthew held a banquet in his home hey, yes. with Jesus as the guest of honor. Uh, you're here. Oh, thank you. Many of Matthew's fellow tax collectors and other guests also ate with them. Ah, yuck. Hey, you! But the Pharisees and their teachers of religious law complained to Jesus' disciples, Why do you eat and drink with such scum? Ah, uh, hold on there. When Jesus heard this, he told them, Healthy people don't need a doctor. Sick people do. Then he added, Now go on and learn the meaning of this scripture. I want you to show mercy, not offer sacrifices. For I have come to call not those who think they are righteous, but those who know they are sinners. So Matthew went on to be one of Jesus' 12 disciples and followed him throughout his time on earth. He even wrote a book in the Bible about Jesus' time on earth, and he served God for the rest of his life. This story shows that Jesus didn't come down to earth to make friends with only the good people, or even worse, people who pretend to be good when actually they're not very good on the inside. He wants to be friends with people who know and aren't afraid to admit that sometimes they do bad things too. Can you think of a time when you've done something kind for someone? 
tell someone with you at home about it and I'll give you 20 seconds. Those things are all really great and Jesus wants us to try our very best to go do good things like that as much as we can. However, much as we'd like to be, we're not perfect. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. We all do things wrong sometimes. We might do something mean to somebody else or not do what we're told. Can you think of a time when you've done something not so good? Have a talk about that at home too, and you've got 20 seconds. It's not so nice to talk about the times we've been bad, is it? But I've got good news. In our Bible story, Jesus didn't go and have tea with the nicest, richest, and most well-behaved person. He chose to have tea with Matthew, the tax collector. People didn't really like tax collectors in those days because they spent all day taking money from people, often more money than they needed to. So Jesus was sitting eating tea with a whole group of tax collectors, wanting them to be some of his best friends. The teachers and important people couldn't believe it and couldn't understand why Jesus didn't come for tea with some better people like them instead. We'll think some more about this a bit later, but first we're going to do a craft to help us think about what happens when Jesus chooses us. <clears throat> so you'll need your colouring crayons, stickers and the foam stickers from your craft boxes. If you don't have one, see what you can find from home too. Now, have a look at this box. There's nothing special about it. It's a bit plain and boring, really. If you put it next to a box covered in beautiful jewels and shiny things, nobody would choose this box out of the two, would they? This is like Matthew. When Jesus chose Matthew and Matthew chose to follow Jesus, he became super extra special. Now let's make our boxes extra special too. Use your colours and stickers to decorate them, but try not to use all of your stickers as we might need those for another craft in a few weeks. Colour with me and let's listen to a song as we go. Earth, the sun, the moon, and stars has a place in its heart for me. From the beginning to the end, God will always be my friend. So I can jump and shout, cause God loves me. God's love is big, God's love is great, God's love is fab and He's my mate. God's love surrounds me every day. Sing and say, God's love is big, God's love is strong, God's love goes on and on and on. God's love surrounds me every day, and I love to sing and say, God loves me. Show his love 
love will never end So I can jump and shout Cause God loves me God's love is big, God's love is great God's love is fab and he's my mate God's love surrounds me every day And I love to sing and sing God's love is big, God's love is strong God's love goes on Fantastic, I'm going to sing these words and I want you to shout out really loud. God's love is big. God's love is great. God's love is fat. God's love is strong. God's love is big. God's love is great. God's love is fat. God's love is strong. Now, if you need any more time for decorating your box, you can pause here or carry on after the service. So we now have a beautifully decorated box. From our video, Jesus said, healthy people don't need a doctor, sick people do. And by that, he meant that he didn't need to come down to earth to help perfect people, because that's nobody. If our box already looked beautiful and decorated, Jesus wouldn't be needed. Jesus came down to earth to help people who do make mistakes and do get things wrong sometimes. And that is all of us. The best thing is that when we choose to follow Jesus and try our very best to be more like him every day, he forgives us everything we do wrong when we say sorry. How amazing is that? When we say sorry and really, really mean it, Jesus forgives us for everything we do wrong. Jesus chose to love and help Matthew. Jesus chose me and he's chosen you too. Let's say some prayers together now. You'll need the handprint from your craft boxes because this is going to help us with our prayers today. We'll start off with the thumb. Hold your own thumb and with everybody who's at home with you, think of some people you'd like to pray for and pray them out loud now. Then we move on to the index finger, your pointer. Hold this one now and say a prayer at home for our teachers. Not just school or nursery, but everybody who teaches us things, like parents and people at church too.
Now hold your middle finger and say a prayer for our leaders, like the Queen and people in the government who work to try and make our country the best it can be. Now hold your ring finger and think of people who might be poorly or hungry or needing some extra help from God and say a prayer for them too. Last of all, hold your little finger. We leave this one until last because we put other people before ourselves. But lastly, say a prayer for you too. Dear God, thank you that when we pray, you hear us. Please take these prayers and help us to keep following Jesus every single day. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hello be my name. Thy kingdom come, thy we be done on earth as it is in heaven. Say, give us this day our daily bread, so give us our trespass against us. As we go, thou trespass against us. And lead us to not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thy kingdom come, thy is the kingdom. The power of the law we forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> Well, we're nearly at the end of another children's church service now. But don't be too sad, because we'll be back again next week. Send us some photos of your beautiful craft boxes so we can show those in the video too. Before we go, as always, we'll end with a super cool song and some actions. See you next week. Knees, a squidgy tongue, hairy toes, and a wiggly bum. But Jesus says to me, I love ya. My mind has spiky hair, a dimply chin, pointy ears, and a cheeky grin. But Jesus says to me, I love ya. Cause he made me in a special way according to his plan. And Jesus looks inside my heart at who I really am. So I've got hands, arms to raise, dancing feet for all my days, cause Jesus says to me, I love ya. Cause he made me in a special way according to his plan, and Jesus looks inside my heart at who I really am. I might have not been a squidgy tongue, merry toes and a wiggly bum But Jesus says to me, I love ya I might have spiky hair, a dimply chin, pointy ears and a cheeky grin But Jesus says to me, I love ya Cause he made me in a special way according to his plan And Jesus looks inside my heart at who I really am 
So I've got clapping hands and arms to raise Dancing feet for all my days Cause Jesus says to me Oh, he loves ya! Cause he made me in a special way According to his plan And Jesus looks inside my heart And who I really am I might have knobbly knees, a spinchy tongue, hairy toes, and a wiggly bum, but Jesus says to me, 